Yo guys, what's going on? Strength Coach Christopher Lopez here with JerseyStrengthFit.com and CJLopez.com. So recently I was interviewed by Matt Wyslinski. Uh, most of you probably know who he is. He's a really well-respected and well-known coach in the industry. And our conversation uh, kind of got me thinking. And I just wanted to get this, this message out to you guys. The first thing he asked me was, what is the most important thing, or what do you think is the most important thing to remember when training for performance? And I thought about it for a second. And the first thing that came out of my mouth was um, to not overthink it. You know, you see a lot of trainers, especially because the, the, the fitness industry and the training industry and the coaching industry, people try to be so cutting edge with everything and try to come up with new exercises and new programming and this and that. And honestly, you know, it's, there's a line. There, there's definitely a line when it comes to programming and coming up with exercises and, and things like that. You know, you see people um, in regular gyms attaching bands and kettlebells and chains to, to the bench or to their squat. And the reality is the majority of people don't need those things because they're not there yet. You know, you have to crawl before you can walk, essentially. So try not to overthink your programming. The basics still work the best, guys. Barbell squats, presses, overhead presses, bench presses, deadlifts. All those things can be done <clears throat> once, twice a week. You know, and, and I guarantee that if you if you approach your training and your programming from, from a more generalized and, and and basic perspective and stop thinking about doing, you know, Bulgarian split squats on a BOSU ball or you know, um, crazy shit you see people doing. You know, stop thinking so much in how you can make exercises cooler looking and just hit the weights I mean hit the hit the dumbbells hit the barbells kettlebells if you know how to use them I mean those are the things that are gonna make you stronger and people forget that strength is performance you know a faster 40 is performance too but if you want to get that that specialized performance you need to lay the groundwork of the basic stuff first so just a little food for thought. Think about that and kind of approach your programming this week and try and simplify it a little bit. And I guarantee you, you'll be surprised how much more effective it is because not only is it simplifying your programming, but it's also simplifying your mind. It gets all that other extra bullshit out of the way that people get so hung up on, <clears throat> you know, like crazy stuff you see people doing in the gym all the time because they see it on, on websites or they see coaches doing it. You know, and, and, and it, it clears your mind and gets you back to the basics, back to what training is about. It's not about being fancy. It's not about, you know, looking like the cool guy in the gym who hangs kettlebells off his bench press. You know, the reality of the matter is most people who do that stuff don't have the basic strength to do their basic lifts correctly. So, again, don't overthink it. Just go to work in the gym. Get the work done. Simplify your mind. Simplify your training, and the results will come, I promise. All right? I'll talk to you guys later. Check out the blog, cjlopez.com, and the gym website if you haven't done that already, jerseystrengthfit.com. Later, guys.